Good afternoon, it's actually noon right now. Uh, I'm Patrick Tang, a uh, food wanderer, and we are in front of a uh, So Lucky Thai restaurant. This is Money. Hello. She's the owner of the restaurant. I actually been here a few years ago. This is um, all the furnishings of a Thai restaurant. I believe that's the Thai food. All the Thai restaurants I've been to uh, here in New Orleans taste very good. I, I mean, I love food, and Thai food is one of my favorite cuisines. And I can't wait to try the uh, two dishes we're gonna order. So I think they should be arriving any minute soon. All right, so our food just arrived. This is the uh, Hainan chicken, golden yellow rice. It's high coloring. The food, by the spicy sauce. Okay, let me take out the rice. The flavor is just good. Let me try the chicken. Uh, the skin is very juicy. Uh, it's quite fatty, it's very good. And the, the meat is very tender. It's real good. I think I need more sauce, but it's very good. So our chicken's feet with salad just arrived, uh, which is a Thai specialty. Peppers, onions, lettuce, and parsley. Garnish with some carrots, some tomato. We use the chopsticks. It's just perfect. It's not too um, too tough. And it's just tender, chicken feet. You do with the onions and carrots. Mm. That's um, Thai cuisine for today. So here I am. It's about uh, two o'clock at the Sri Kala Curry House. This curry house is located in Yunlong, New Territories, Hong Kong. And I'm in the mood for some great Indian Nepalese food. So I'm going to take a look at the menu. This is our waitress for today, Kapitha. Say hi, Kapitha. They just gave us some appetizers. This is papadam. This is like a tortilla. They have the sauce. I personally like the mint yogurt one. So. Oh. It's so good. It just tastes like tortilla chips. Awesome. And let me try this some um, vinegar and onions and carrots. So, let's dip some. This has a very um, tingly type of taste with the onions and the carrots, which is very good. So, our food just arrived, all of it. Uh, that's our momos, that was the dumplings. There's, the steam is coming out. Here we go. Mm. The steam is actually locking in the flavor of the, the meat, the chicken. And once it mixes with the spices, it's like, it's like a volcano right now. It's so good. It kind of reminds me of a little bit like a uh, Shanghainese Shaolin Dao, like the dumplings. Yun Long is uh, home to a sizable Indian, Nepalese, Southeast Asian population. So here you can expect to find very authentic uh, Indian and Nepalese food. What was it called? La Gosh Vindaloo. Gosh Vindaloo. Wow. This is uh, the spiciest, but the rest you can choose. You can make it mild, medium, or hot. You know what? Since we're in the curry house, it's either go big or go home. Let's pick the spiciest one. This is the uh, gauche vindaloo. You got potatoes. That's a potato. That's the lamb. Okay, some tomatoes. And saffron rice. Okay, now the moment of truth. I'm going to try it right now. Oh, that's delicious. It is spicy. And this is mango lassi. Just give it to try. Thank you so the much. The mango is very spicy. This is the mango. Mango yogurt. Mango yogurt. Yeah, it's Thank very you. popular. Awesome. Okay. This is Patrick of Food Wander. And I'm eating this delicious Nepalese food. Have a good day.